な。Hi everyone, <laughs> welcome back uh, to another Banjo Kazooie stream. Um, yeah, I I don't even know what happened tonight, but I meant to stream like I don't know twice now already, and it's taken until now for me to actually get to it. Oh, look, I forgot about those. Cool. It was like Clanker's Cavern, I think. Way to miss. Um, it's taken me until now to get on here, so just doing another late night Banjo Kazooie stream. Um, I feel like my angle is a little bit off there. We'll try that. Um, let's see. Yeah, you know that. That looks okay. Um, yeah, good, good going me, lost my train of thought, but, um, just because it's late, I don't really feel like, uh, struggling with my Metroid AM2R fusion run right now. Just gonna go for some relaxing, good old Banjo-Kazooie. And I'm not even going to go back to Bubble Gloop Swamp this time, just because all that was left was, well, the Jiggy that was annoying me because I kept falling, and the, uh, hmm, the Crocodile minigame, which is easier to do with the running shoes anyway. Uh, let me see. Can I get in here? Yeah. Um... So yeah, just seems like seemed kind of like it was a better idea to wait on those. Uh, the crocodile game, game, especially, it really annoys me. It's not particularly fun, and it's just RNG. Like, I, I, I guarantee you, I could get it done with enough RNG tries. I just don't see the point when there's an easier way. So I'm gonna come back and get those last few jiggies in a little bit. And until then, we're going to move on to the next level, which I'm trying to remember if uh, Gobi's Valley is the next level, or if it's Freeze Easy Peak, which I've already opened. It's kind of like, I feel like, if I remember right, it's kind of like a gray area where you can get into either level if you try. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe there's... Maybe it's gonna make me do Freeze Easy first, but... But either way... The only reason I wanted to do Gobi's Valley first, if I can, is that way I can get the running shoes and go back and finish that Crocodile minigame, just so that I don't leave uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp unfinished for too long. Also, at some point I need to go back and get... Um, the Cheeto book that's back there, which I think should be more eggs, um, but I don't really need more eggs just yet. 50 is enough for now. Is it 50? No. I think I actually have 100. I really don't want to open the pause menu to find out. Um, were these eggs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it is 100. Hey, look at that. I didn't have to open the pause menu. The reason I'm opposed to opening the pause menu is just that I don't have frame buffer working, and so it is this really hard to look at, um, whoa, whoa, camera, what you doing? Camera, go home, you're drunk. It is this really hard to look at, um, static effect shortcut? No, wait. I forgot. The, okay, this always confused me as a kid, the fact that this is a cauldron in here, but there's also one down below, right underneath it. Is there any reason to go up here right now? You know, I don't think there is. 
as I almost fall off the edge. Okay, anyway, I don't want to talk to you, good witch. Anyway, it always confused me. I mean, it's it's obvious looking at it now that they're, they're clearly two different depths. But it, it, it just the fact that one was right above the other, it just confused the hell out of me. I was like, how come if you go in from the top, it takes you somewhere different? Oh, oh, I'm just dumb. Alright, uh, is it... Is Gopi's Valley puzzle through here? You know what? Here, let's just do Freeze Easy. Because I feel like the game's directing me that, toward that being the next level. And I at least kind of want to do them in order. I mean, hmm. It doesn't really matter, but... OCD and all, you know? Running shoes, okay. Without the running shoes, I can't do the flight puzzle. I don't... Well, maybe I can. I'll try it. Um, is there anything else here? I know that the, uh... The jiggy opens up later, but... Right, so no reason to go that way yet. I think I'm just wasting my time with this. Nope. I find it funny that the running shoes actually have a speaking line there to taunt you that you can't do this puzzle yet. Like, I don't know. I like it, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's it's a little bit taunty, but... Ultimately, it's, it's good. You know, it's a... Uh... Alright, I don't want to see Boggy's crying kids just yet. Though I do love how the music gets really sad in there. I like, I like all the music transitions in this game, really. Oh my god, get the notes! You shouldn't have eaten that jiggy. Yeah. Boggy, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have eaten it. Why did you eat it? Alright, um... I guess I'll just, uh, start with the snowman. Whoa! <laughs> Camera, camera, no. Bad camera. Bad, okay. Bad control scheme, really. Not really, but like... It makes sense when the C buttons are on buttons. When they're on an analog stick, it's just a little confusing. Oh man, I, I seem to remember there being like a... Kind of a skip for this. And I don't remember what it is now. Is it just that, uh... I feel like it's like if you just don't look. Well, that doesn't sound like it. Wait. No. Nope. There's something you can do that prevents these guys from spawning at all. And it's something, like I said, something like spawning related. Of course, it really doesn't help having them... having them on a different cycle. it's that hard, but I just remember the skip looking really... making it... Hey, I'm on his head. The skip made it look really broken and was just kind of cool because of that. Alright, I'm pretty sure the jiggy for that one is on the inside anyway, so I don't want to wait to go inside till after I light the tree up.
It's funny how this is like the obligatory Christmas level, but it doesn't really feel super Christmassy. Like, I don't know, it's... Maybe it's just nostalgia, remembering this... Um, I used to really like this level as a kid, I don't know. So... Maybe it's just nostalgia that makes it not feel like a Christmas level. Like, it's clearly, clearly Christmas themed. But, um... I don't know, it doesn't... It doesn't give you that same cringy feeling that, say, like... When you're watching... When you're watching, like, a TV show, and you come across the obligatory, like... Christmas episode that made sense when it aired, but when you're in the middle of binging a season on Netflix, it's just kind of weird. It doesn't have that kind of a feel to it, which is an oddly specific description, but hopefully somebody gets what I mean by that. You know, all of a sudden I'm realizing that I need to, like, egg that, don't I? Yep. Oh well, my method would have been fun if it worked. I didn't expect it to work. I was just confusing it for the star on top that you need to fly through. Alright, so then I have to fly through the star. Okay, well... At least I'm pretty sure that's what he said. I kind of skipped all his text. I'm just kind of smart like that. That's right, this was a pain. A royal pain. <laughs> Last second, okay. I can work with that. I thought I had failed that for sure. Alright, well we're while well, we're in the air already. Well, we're in the air already, we might as well just kill ourselves by diving headfirst into the ground. That's... that's the way to do it right there. Come on. In the tree. This tree has termites. I feel like that's not a good thing for your Christmas tree. I, I mean, I wouldn't know. My tree has never had termites. It's artificial. Any of the real trees I had as a kid, they, uh, they never had termites either. It seems to me if your Christmas tree has termites... We have a lot bigger concerns than the termites in the tree. Okay, camera, you are not helpful. Like, I don't know, termites? Termites in your Christmas tree just sounds like you're about to have a whole lot more homeowner issues in about like five minutes unless you get rid of that tree right now it's kind of a weird choice of enemy to put in here oh well let's see I guess since I was trying to hit them before I'll do the snowman now and that'll make getting around a whole lot less annoying As long as I don't miss them and slam into the ground again. Yeah. 
So far, so good. Yep, good going. Alright, um... Crap, is that the only flight pad? No, I think... I feel like there's one on a roof here. I'm probably remembering that wrong. Let's find out. Are you? Yeah, right there. Okay. <sighs> Alright then. Apparently, uh... Apparently I can't st seem to stand still on the flat part here. Crap. I realized that it would be much better to... actually try to level out with them instead of diving down at them. I'm just being impatient. Obviously, that's not working out, but, you know. I'll just come back for that one after. Boink. Alright, is it just these two left? I feel like there's another one somewhere. That's it. Cool. I could actually climb the snowman, but what would be the fun in that? Yeah, I actually didn't know I could grab the jiggy like that. That was kind of cool. just trying to, like, take revenge on these ice guys. This is not really revenge. They haven't done anything to me. Okay, okay. Enough trying to kill the ice guys. <laughs> just gonna kill myself in the process. Just gonna bounce off them and fall all the way to my death. But no, lucky me, this cap has a, or this cap, I don't know, top hat has a, has a brim to it. Alright, back up. Gotta get the notes. One hundred eggs. What about one hundred eggs? Also, hi Kenny. The fact that I've already got a hundred, was I still collecting them? I just kind of... I don't know. You don't ever, like... <sighs> you don't ever, like, collect things just because they're there. Like, you know you can't get them, but you're still kind of, like, compelled to. I don't know. I'm always like that with stuff in games. Seriously, sometimes I just have to collect stuff because it's there. It wants to be collected, even if I can't hold any more. Oh, almost missed a note. Okay, there we go. I still need to do the other side of the scarf, but I might as well go down this side while I'm here. There you go, Boggy. See, you, you had no business eating that Jiggy. Like, seriously. The fact that you claim that that's your sled makes me seriously wonder how you left it up there. Like, like he just he just doesn't seem athletic enough to have gotten up there on his own.
then again, I mean, I guess he does zoom around the, the level pretty good once he gets going. See, I have full health too, but yet I'm grabbing all the honeycombs, and I'll probably regret that later, having left myself no health around the level. But... I don't know. You know what? Why, don't, why, would I, why do I even need to bother killing you? I'll leave you alive, and then, then I'll have a health, some health to come back to when I finally... I don't know. When I, when, when I end up in that very situation. I mean, that's probably what happened, but, like... Props on him for getting up here in the first place, because... I mean, he's he's too lazy to get his kids Christmas gifts. And yet, he climbed, he climbed a friggin' snowman and got to the top, only to fall down. I don't know. Wow. Uh huh. Saved by the buttons. I forgot those buttons were there actually, so. I guess that could be the next thing that I do. So, so, by the way, Kenny, you, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say you lied to me, but I feel a little misled. I, I checked out your channel, and it, it's not so epic yet. You, you should probably, uh, probably work on that. I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be really epic, but it still, it still needs a little bit of work, I think. I'm trying to be funny there. I'm, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I feel like that came off more like being a jerk, so... Sorry about that. I don't know. It, it wasn't supposed to. Oh, okay. Well, that I didn't know. See, the funny thing is, like, the whole reason... Yep, that's my fault. Entirely my fault. I had it perfectly lined up, and I let go of the analog stick. Because I was distracted. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, like, I... I only started on Twitch because I was trying to get started on YouTube, and... I guess the best way I could say it is I kinda got distracted. I guess, I guess the better way to say it is that anno uh, editing video was getting really annoying and I wanted a break from it, and then, yeah, I don't know. I've just been focusing on this instead, and I've had like, I've had some content that I've been meaning to edit for, meaning to finish editing for... I don't know, two weeks now, and I just can't seem to get around to it. But streaming's easy, so you know. So easy that I had to put off streaming twice today because I just, I don't know. I couldn't seem to, I had, I had too much to do, I don't know. But yeah, like, the, honestly, I meant for YouTube to be, like, my main focus, and, like, to do Twitch on the side. 
And, um... Let's see. I'm gonna do... Bring Foggy's kids their gifts first, because... After that, I think everything else can be done as the walrus. Um... But yeah, I just ended up doing more of this, and I really need to get back to finishing at least some of the YouTube videos I was working on. But it's all just gameplay stuff anyway. It was just more edited, not just streaming. There we go. Sad. The sad music. There we go. Now the music's happy, so we're all, everything's good. Um... I wonder if that Jiggy was going to be Buggy's snack for later. And his kids just gave it to me as a prize, like... They're just, they're just giving away their dad's things. It's fine. It, it's cool. I mean, you know, they're kids. What else are they going to do? I remember this level being like... Aren't there boots somewhere? I feel like I saw them somewhere. I really don't want to just jump through the water. Here they are. No, that's a Jinjo. Jinjo, give me your feet. They look like boots. Well, I guess we can fly over there. That works, too. Whoever made this chimney so annoyingly shaped... So... Whoever made the chimney annoying needs to... I don't know. Needs to find a new job 25 years later. There's boots. Those ones don't help me much. Mumbo's just, like, collecting yellow things up here. He thought that Jinjo was a musical note, clearly. Funny little, like, bit of trivia, but apparently... Um, none of, like... None of Mumbo's chant or... The sound effect for getting the mumbo token. Um, none of those were actually spoken at any point. They were all just um, random, random, sim yeah, random syllables strung together in the same manner as like the regular um, gibberish that everyone speaks. Except for they were hard coded to be specific gibberish every time. One of the many many things that Grant Kirkhope has revealed about this game's development. I think that tidbit came from Game Grumps, but... I don't know. Cool, apparently there's no notes inside the, the walrus cave. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, skid in there. He's just, he's just waiting here for someone to race him. His kids are at home, going hungry, and he's just like... He don't care, he's just sitting out here. I know how to race, yeah, go. Go! I feel like this race uses a lot of, like... Um, rubber banding. Oh, no! Like, it's one of those things where even if you do it perfectly, he just, like, catches up. So you can't ever, like, get too, too far ahead of him. 
it's not so bad on the first race, but I'm pretty sure what, the second one that you have to use the running shoes for, he just like blatantly cheats. Did you just like wave your fist at me, dude? That's probably the best they could do to, to program the race, but still. There we go. Go home and feed your kids. So, I'm a walrus, but he needs to go race someone his own size. I think he just called Banjo fat. I mean, I... I mean, then again, I guess they are both bears, but Banjo's a lot more, uh, in much better shape. Watch out for the smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. It's like the easiest jiggy ever. Alright, what's left? There's... Yeah, there's the other... The other racing prize and the Jinjo jiggy, and I think that's it, so... I don't know, I always remember this level being a lot longer than it is. I probably remember this whole game being a lot longer than it is. It's really not. Oh, I can't... I don't... I think the Jinjo is on, like, a little ledge out here where the ice key is. I don't think I can get it without changing back. Yeah, no, that's way too high. Not even gonna try. That's okay, though. Unlike the... Unlike the, la the other two transformations, there's no reason I need to leave the level with this one. Splash. Oh, Mumbo Token. put so much crap around the edges in the water here. Like, did they really expect me to go around the entire perimeter of the level as the walrus? Maybe they just thought I'd spend more time this way. Splash. Let's see. What? No. Oh. Why would you do that? I must have hit the analog stick on the way to the button. Actually, there is... There is at least one thing in Mumbo's little speech that wasn't random. It wasn't random that they kind of snuck in, but... It's really some, something more to look up than, uh... <sighs> um, right, right. Walrus Cave. <laughs> that was not a good jump. I'm guessing what probably happened when I was younger is I probably failed at uh, dive bombing those snowmen, smashed into the water, lost a bunch of health, on top of getting hit by the snowman and their snowball throwing snowballs. I probably just died a bunch. Look, an ice key that is never used. It's a shame, because the ice key was, like, legit one of the coolest things. I mean, I guess at least it does get represented in Banjo-Tooie. And it does get you access to, uh, the cool dragon transformation, so that's something. Alright, did I get... Oh, look, a Mumbo token. I have way too many of those. I don't know if I got the second honeycomb. 
I did, okay. So the only thing left is the other race, so... There's like so many things I keep leaving behind that I need to come back with running shoes for. So I, I said last time, and I said earlier this time, but the pause screen looks like that because I don't have frame buffer properly emulated right now. It's one of the more annoying things to emulate, and even when I had it working, it still didn't look right because I'm running the game in so much higher of a resolution than normal. So instead I get that awful eyesore of a pause screen. Oh, um, I forgot it, it. It wasn't in the, uh, it wasn't in the way when I only had, okay, wait, I can't get that jiggy yet. How am I even doing? Um, I have 12 of them. And that's having just paid, like, 25 or something for that transformation, so. There's just way more in the game than you need. Yeah, when I when I positioned it, it wasn't really in the way because I only had single digits of mumbo tokens. Um, this way. But there's, it's funny. They're like they're the only collectible in the game that's like both permanently collected but not tracked in any way. There is no. There is no total screen you can look at to figure out where you missed them, where to get them, and they just put, like, way more into the game than you actually need. I'm not sure how many more, but I know I've, I've finished it before with quite a few left over. There's nothing really I can do out there unless I want to go into Mad Monster Mansion. So back to Gobi's Valley. Finally get me some running shoes. Mostly because I really hate having these levels left uncompleted and I need to do something about that. Oh yeah, right. Boots. Um, I think it's. I think I'd have to say, um, Rusty Bucket Bay is the most difficult, just because of the stupid engine room. Um, like the, the oil that makes you, the, the water there that's oil that makes you, uh, lose air as you swim, or, like, even, even when you're on the surface of the water and tw twice as much when you, uh, when you're swimming, like, that's, that's annoying, but the engine room is just the biggest nightmare ever, and usually that's just because of having to collect all the notes in one life. I think I can actually kill you, can I? Oh, I can. Um, like, Rusty Bucket Bay was always the most difficult when I was younger, and it's still the most difficult now, just because it's such a pain. Like, that one, the one, that one section, the engine room, um, basically, if, if you're not familiar with it, there's a bunch of moving gears and other thing, other rotating platforms that you have to traverse, and it is instant death if you fall to the bottom if you if you fall off any of them it's just a bottomless area there's no floor and you know the rest of the levels annoying and, eh, it's not that bad i guess by comparison but the engine room isn't like the first thing you do it's usually a bit later on um and so if you're damn it 
if you're trying to do it all in one go to get all the notes, you know, usually there's a chance that you fuck something up in the engine room and you have to start all over. And... Like... My usual strategy, if I can't, if I don't do it in one go, is, like, to just start with the engine room. Just start there, get the notes there, and then do the rest of the level after, because it's not nearly as bad. And I failed that jump again. That's awesome. And... I don't know, my- the second most difficult level, I think, is, like, Click Clock Wood, just because it's- it's so long. There's four seasons, and it takes forever. It's not really that difficult, but... There's a fair amount of falling in that level, too, though. And... Um, as a kid, Clanker's Cavern was definitely on the list, because, like, I could never, I could never manage to survive long enough to swim through the key at the bottom and release him. Um, I, I don't know, I, I did, like, a, I mentioned a list yesterday that it was those three levels, and now I can't remember exactly what order they were in. But now, now I actually like Clanker's Cavern, so that's not, not really on my list of worst levels. I know I wasn't very good at, at this level either, but I don't think I hated it. You're annoying me. Ah. There's no reason I should have lost so much health already. So, I think. So I'm trying to think what like what my favorite levels might be. Um. Hmm. I don't know, though. I feel like I, I like a lot of them equally. I like Mumbo's Mountain just because it's like... It's always like the, the get-hyped level for the rest of the game. Um... As a kid, I really liked Freeze Easy Peak. I don't really... I don't really know why now. It's not really anything special. These are gonna run out. I mean, in truth, though, even when this even when this game is at its worst, there's still plenty of games that I like it. I like the worst parts of this game better than the best parts of those games, or something to that effect. I didn't really, I didn't really think that whole thought through before I started speaking, but you know, there's like even at its, its worst moments, even <laughs> even the engine room in Rusty Bucket Bay. It's still okay. I still... Let's see... What does that do? Does that open the door? Yeah. Alright, I guess I'm going in here. I don't remember which one's... which one this is. Is it the flipping puzzle? It is... yeah. It is the flip puzzle.
Those guys ever annoy you, just go invincible. They can't do a damn thing about it. I'm horrible at memory games. I absolutely, absolutely hate any form of, like, card-flipping memory thing. I'm not doing too bad at it, considering, but... I uh, haven't seen Jinju yet. Maybe this one. There we go. Um, I haven't seen Banjo yet, either. Uh, which one didn't I do? No, I did both of those. Okay. So that one I didn't do. That one, the feather... Hey. Hey. Oh. Duh, right there. Now that I'm actually trying to think about it, though, like... What would my, my favorite level be? It beats me. I don't know. It's just... <laughs> Mad Monster Mansion's pretty fun, though. Okay, uh... Is this, this is, is this one permanent, or is it on a timer? Okay, it's permanent. I was like, I don't remember seeing any light pads nearby. I know there's one somewhere. Some at the bottom of the water. Or not water. Not water. <laughs> um, yeah. Here we go. Not how I meant to get to that, but... Those don't really... Oh, it's just to get out, that's right. That makes sense. I was like, those don't really make sense, because... Okay, no. Rick! <sighs> there was nothing I could do at that point. Like, the way it was positioned... The way I was already positioned when I bounced off of it, it was like, okay, I can either die pointlessly and not get the honeycomb, or get the honeycomb and die. And I suppose I probably could have done it just right and gotten through, but I kind of panicked. That's the first time that I've died so far and lost notes because of it. So... Doing pretty good on that front. You know, I, I, I kind of want to say, like, when I was younger, the way I would would have ranked these levels on which ones I liked, it, it's entirely dependent on how often I died because of how often I had to, um... Oh, I still need to go inside the, uh, Sphinx. It was the best jump ever. I forgot to do it. Um, totally based on- uh, uh, totally ranked levels based on, um, how hard it was to get all the notes. Which is why Rusty Bucket Bay is still awful. Because it's just really cheap. I don't know what it is about this cactus that is giving me so much trouble. I also don't know how I managed to get... ...to land on this one little... ...branch. Yeah, so apparently this is just gonna be the level that kicks my ass for no apparent reason. 
I'm not even dying in the... Whatever it is. Acid? Quicksand? It's got, like, worm things in it. I guess I don't know what to call it. Also, the camera angle on that part is just really awful. I'm trying to jump over while the camera wants does wants to be blocked. Alright, um let's see. Miserably at jumping. Oh, one of them hit. And there's nothing on that one. You know, there's really no reason I should have gotten hurt by him last time I was in here. I just- I thought he was gonna, like, slam down a lot quicker than he does, but he gives you a lot of warning to get out of the way. Still gonna get hurt pointlessly, though. Yeah, literally the most annoying thing about this game is retracing your steps every time you die. It's a reason to get good at it, honestly. Maybe the whole reason I like it so much is just because I had to play it so much as a kid just to try to 100% it. of the stupid notes. And yet I really wouldn't change them. Like, I wouldn't make it so that they they stay collected. I don't know, I feel like that would take like the only real remaining difficulty out of it. I don't remember how I'm looking on health. Here. There we go. Just totally an excuse to kill a mummy. There's... For the record, trying to do that block flipping puzzle with those with the mummy coming back is super annoying and It's super annoying, and once you figure out you can kill him, um... Once you figure out you can kill him by using invincibility, like, you never bother again. Oh, not a good idea. Why did they make it, like, disappear? Like, did they program it in such a way that it needed to have a start and an end point? And even so, why not? Why couldn't you just replace it with itself, and then you'd never have to have it flash and flicker and drop the player? Eh, still need to learn how to use those. actually should be right over here. Let's 
somewhere as soon as it fades in. There we go. I think that's another thing they updated in the Xbox version. The draw they fixed the draw distance so that things don't um things don't fade out quite so closely. That doesn't help me at all, but Um, no, I need, I need running shoes to get the one at the bottom, and then I need the waiting boots to get the notes at the bottom. Thanks, that's helpful. <laughs> okay, that, I'm not even trying to be so bad at getting those. Good job. Call him Grabba, and his hands just kind of... I don't know. That feels... Like, knowing knowing the sense of humor of the people that made this... I, I think I know what they were thinking. But at the same time, like, I, I love when they do stuff like that, and, like... There's... There's a lot of little things that they got by in, like, dialogue and other other things that they were able to be sneaky about and get past, like, ESRB rating stuff, keep the game rated E, but they, they snuck a few, like, adult jokes in there here and there. You don't necessarily, like, you don't necessarily get them all because some of them are, uh, some of them are a little more British than others. I should really just get the running shoes and do this in one go. Probably miss the notes if I do that. But we can try. Worst case, I can get the notes after. Ah! Camera! Camera Y! be like the longest running shoes ever. I find it kind of funny that the running shoes and the wading boots... Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Cool. That's what I get for trying to get the notes. But I couldn't not get the notes. I tried. And I, I just couldn't. I was compelled to get the notes. Um... But yeah, all the, the power-ups in the game, they all have, like, these arbitrary timers. They are not consistent at all. It's like they timed exactly how much time you'd need for whatever they intended them to be used for. And then, like, added, like, three seconds and, you know, decided that was good. That must be like a royal pain in the ass for speedrunners. Either that or they, they just like remember what all the timings are and it's not a big deal. I don't know. Alright, you know what? Why... Why would I bother to try to... Um, to try to collect this stuff while there's still water in here? Like, why? And now... Oh, fine then. You just, like, walk over me, why don't you? This is a smiley face. This room is totally a smiley face. Of course, once you fill this up with water, it's kind of more annoying to collect the stuff down here. If 
It's safer, I guess. Quote, quote. I mean, maybe. Water's sort of safer. Ginger, were you standing down here in the acid lava snake pool stuff? See, I knew Jinjo feet would work his boots. I knew it. The game, the, the game doesn't want you to know that. But if you can, especially green, green Jinjo feet. If you cut them off, they work just like boots. It's amazing. Um, you're gonna be on like all four sides, aren't you? I don't remember, but I feel like you are. Here they come. Oh, hey, that one hit. Totally looked like it smashed into the side, but whatever. I'll take that. The game actually wants to give me credit for stuff here and there that I didn't do, you know? It evens out with all the times that it doesn't give me credit for the stuff that I do. Probably what it amounts to, like the the hitbox is huge on that thing, so I can hit the eggs, or so I can hit it with eggs easily. But normally the hitboxes are huge on everything else, so I get hit by all the enemies, all the that's the pyramid I've been to before. I get hit by all the enemies, all the you know, like spikes and other hurt things. I mean even the um even those treasure chests with the the teeth that are wider than the lip of the chest itself. King Sandy Butt's Tomb. They weren't even trying with that one, that's just there. I guess it's not really like an innuendo or anything, it's just toilet humor, but that's eh, not the right way. Not, not even really that. I mean, it's it's tame. It's pretty tame. That one better not have been the witch switch. I know it's in here, but I think it's closer to the far end here. No, maybe? Most certainly not. Alright. That's not the right way either. There we go. <laughs> Gonna cut it close, apparently. Yeah, okay. I knew it was close to the... Wait, can I just go back out here now? I get a new timer. That works. I knew it was close to the end somehow, but... See, I was on the right track. I just couldn't see it. The camera didn't want to... Apparently I just had to be patient and wait a minute. That's that's just asking too much of me, game. I, I'm not going to be patient and wait a minute. No. I was going to say, the timer doesn't know what to do now. It... <laughs> It went away, but it was just like... I don't know. It just felt confused. Like, you already saw the 
text box. What do I do? Uh, let's see. Jinjo. Jinjo and a gold feather? In the same pot? Weird. Okay, um... I need to do the flying things, and... Is that it? I'm sure there's something I haven't done somewhere. There's probably notes on the little ledge up there. Or one of the other hidden secret egg things is. For stop and swap. He, no, no, oh, come on. You were like, you miss a jump, but then you, 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 you land it, you're safe. But you, you insist on, like, overcorrecting until the point where you screw yourself anyway. Sometimes that feels like my life. Um, I'm at 87 notes right now. Alright, get out of here, Gobi. The camel's name is Gobi, right? Like, the level? I don't remember, I skipped that part. See you in the lava level! Which is, uh... I, I find it actually really hilarious that they... That he says he's off to the lava world now, and then he actually does. You run into him in the lava... The lava side of, uh, Hellfire Peaks. And can I not climb you? That's really annoying. I thought I could climb you. Um, so I'm trying to think of where else there would be notes besides... Maybe on that magic carpet spot I screwed up trying to get to. Hey, wait a minute. This one does like a whole loop, doesn't it? It doesn't disappear. Does it disappear right here? No, it doesn't. So if this one, if this one can do its entire route without disappearing, why do the other ones drop you? Oh, never mind. I didn't listen. You were still here. Now you're off to the lava world. Quote, quote. No? Do I run into you again in this game? I'm trying to think of what- Oh yeah, you do! You run into him in Click Clock Wood. I'm way too early with that reference then. But yeah. He says he's going to the lava world, and then he does. Do they get the notes along here? Thought I'd check just in case they were getting called out. Um. Let's see. I should get the jiggy on the tree before I forget it. Feels like a really wasted way to get to it. I could maybe have jumped from those trees. For a minute, I thought I had screwed that up. I thought I had like, I thought I had legit done that, and I was ready to face palm so hard. Come on, camera, camera, behave. Um. Okay, you know what? I haven't done the room yet. There should be, like, either one more pyramid, or... I don't know. It's gotta be a pyramid. Everything's a pyramid here. There's one more... Oh, it's the, the Kazooie one. Right, okay. Um, that has the Snake Charmer guy, and that's probably where the rest of the notes are. It's 
Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. So ominous. It felt more epic than fly through my head three times, didn't it? Is it over here somewhere? Yep, there it is. And the root. Oh, there's one more. Whoa. You know, I never noticed because the camera angle. The ring isn't actually part of his head. It's it's like a regular ring, like the ones they normally make checkerboard colored. Okay, fine. You know what? I, I really don't want to accidentally land on your head. Come on. There we go. In that one shot before, you can see the ring, like, does its, like, spinning and disappearing animation. They just kind of, like, crammed it in his head. It's not really part of his head. Alright, I'll get that after. We'll do the snake charmer now, and that should be... Hopefully the end of the uh, notes. talk to you. Hello, friend. I am Ruby. Ruby? Like a gem? I don't know. I feel like his gibberish voice is probably super racist now. Like... There we go. All the notes. Like... You know, I feel like at the time this game was made, it fell more into the realm of, like, you know, what cartoons would do. Now I'm not so sure. It just feels like it's still comical. It just feels a little bit, a little bit less tasteful than it used to. Okay, I am not. There we go. Alright, how many does that make? Eight. Uh, hmm. Yeah, at least now that I've got all the notes, I don't have to worry about screwing anything up. So, what do we still have here? Uh, huh. I am just completely spacing on whatever, whatever is left to do in this level. Oh wait, I I didn't get the one that's uh, up here. Did I get all the Jinjos? No, I didn't get Orange Jinjo. So that's that's the only thing I'm missing, an Orange Jinjo somewhere. I really want to say in an orange level because it'd be funny, but no, it's a yellow level. And the yellow one was the easiest to find. He was near the uh, near the entrance. thought that extra life statue for whatever reason was the orange Jinjo. But the blue one was at the bottom there. The... He couldn't have been in the maze. Plus there was the 
I think the pink one. Well, there, there was a Jinjo in the maze for sure. Uh, this is Gobi's Valley. And I believe it is named after the camel. So I totally wasn't reading anything he said, so I might be wrong. Not that that matters, but, you know. The name is definitely Gobi's Valley. Uh... Maybe it could have been inside the Sphinx? If I didn't explore as well the second time? Hmm. The green one was really close to here, so probably not. Alright. Lack of anywhere better, let's check inside the Sphinx. Don't crash. Come on, there we go. Well, at least I was on the right track then. Oh, I can hear him! Ah! Yeah, that's right, he's right here. I got him. Yeah, I figured that's what you were doing when you... When you asked what the level was called. There we go. And conveniently, they paired him with a bunch of red feathers to recover the ones that I wasted looking around for him trying to remember where he could possibly be. It's like they knew I'd get annoyed at it, or... It's like they knew I'd fail at it. There, that, that works better. Alright. Eye burning... Uh, pause screen. I definitely got everything here. Cool. I can never remember if I got the honeycombs or not. Like... There's only two of them. It should be easy to remember, but they're like the number one thing I forget if I don't check. Alright, so up next should be Mad Monster Mansion. I, th I think I have to go a little bit out of my way for the puzzle for it. I think it's in, like, the Rusty Bucket Bay room area. In fact, so... I'll just head that way first. say that I'll probably do Mad Monster, Monster Mansion this time and then um, save Rusty Bucket Bay and Click Clock Wood for another stream. But we'll see how we'll see how long it takes to get through it. I mean, mostly it's <clears throat> nothing at all to do with Mad Monster Mansion. Just the fact that the last two levels are so long. I don't really want to like commit to doing them now and then be like. Why did I do this? Alright, I can't open the grate over here yet, can I? Not yet. So there's, there's three water levels for this whole area by, like, Rusty Bucket Bay. 
I'm what annoyed me. Um, uh, probably my second playthrough of the game. Probably not my first. Is that this great rate up here? If you don't take it out before you raise the water level twice, you can't. You just can't. The water level's above it, and there is no, no way that you can destroy it. And then, I mean, granted, you don't need to come back here, really. There's no real reason to revisit this room. I think there's like a one-up near the top or something. Not like that's really that useful, but... Just the fact that you can't do it. It's just, things like that aggravate me, you know? It's like, it's not quite, it's not, of course, like, nearly as bad as when you end up with, like, missable collectibles. Don't ever, if, if you're making a game, don't ever put missable collectibles. That's, that shit is so awful. It's so overdone. It's so, just, cruel. Mostly because, like... If I'm playing a game that I know has missable collectibles, I'm pretty much gonna force myself to use a walkthrough and, like, just go step by step the entire time because I, I don't want to end up in that situation where I lock myself out of something. And it just ends up being really... Uh, like, I don't know, really slow, really annoying, really... It, it really ruins it, having to play by a walkthrough just to be like, you know, double check it, let me, uh... You know, every, every three seconds you're like, hang on, let me let me pull up my phone, let me look, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. So fortunately, there's there's none of that shit in this game. That would... <laughs> I don't know if I would tolerate that, like... I mean, may, I probably would just because of nostalgia goggles, but... Seriously, that stuff should never be in a game, ever. Like, even if... Even if you've got to, like... Add something in at the end of the game where you can come back or like, I don't know, say that, um, say an area or something is destroyed in a game and you can never get back to it. Just like add some little bit in like somewhere near the end, some little nod like, oh yeah, you know, you can it actually, even if you don't tell the player, even if they can read it from a walkthrough that, oh, you can come back here at the end of the game. It's, it's destroyed, but you know, that chest you missed, they, they put it right in plain sight so that you can still get it. Something, something like that. I don't know. Not to rant too much, but it's just, it's just annoying when that shit happens. All right, I think that is the only gate, yeah. This gate is like the snowball I didn't destroy last time. For that, I couldn't get through with the crocodile. For this, I wouldn't be able to get through with the pumpkin. But the problem is, this is actually needed to progress. I never got the, uh... I've already passed by where the, uh... The egg upgrade is. But I didn't get it because... You need to go through a little hole as crocodile. And you need to have cleared it... Cleared the path already. And I didn't. So I didn't go back for it, but whatever. Anyway, um, I will be back in just a minute. Um, I'm definitely going to continue and definitely going to take on this level. But I just need a quick break, so I'll be back in like less than five minutes.
Wow, that's still in full screen. Okay. It's not going to be as soon as I click on it. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> Alright, so I'm back. How about that? It's probably like three minutes, I don't know. So, Mad Monster Mansion. It's funny, like, Freeze Easy Peak is the Christmas level, this is the Halloween level. There's really no way around that, but... Like, it's not really a Halloween level, but it kinda is, cause... You know, it's got all the spooky stuff. I don't know. Just trying to make a spooky level make it automatically Halloween? Then again, you, you do turn into a pumpkin, so... Eh... There's no way around it. It's the Halloween level. These guys are actually, uh, they should be just like the zombies. You can kill them as long as you use invincibility to do it. If you hit them normally, they just, uh... They just fall apart. Yeah, I mean, it is... It's, it's definitely the Halloween level, because there's no other way to describe it, really. It's just... It's not obnoxious about it. It just... It has a theme, and it just works. Oh, come on, Bat. Really? I swear, the... Like, it's a bat, but it's not really a bat. It's like... Well, I almost said it's some kind of mammal bat, but bats are mammals, so that's a really moot point. Seriously, though, it's got, like, your typical, uh, like, cartoon bear, cartoon dog nose. I don't know. Of course, I can't get a good angle at it, so... I feel like this level's annoying to 100% just because of all, like, the windows and stuff. Like, there's just a lot of... a lot of little nooks and crannies to explore. Do I need health? I probably didn't. I just really hate opening that pause screen. I hate it. I hate opening that pause screen so much that... Oh, these ghosts, they follow the same, uh... They follow the same rules as the zombies and the skeletons. I don't think there's anything truly invulnerable in this game. By the way, uh... These casks that you can break, there's one that you can't, it's got an X on it. That's another, um, another one of those hidden eggs is right behind this one. For that stop and swap content they didn't do. I want to say it actually, like, comes out into, like, a room. Like, I don't think it's just in the, in the cask, like, that would be kind of not as epic. I think it actually, like... It's like a tunnel that goes through to another room. You know, I'm spacing. I, I did already get the Jinjo, okay. I was like, I know I remember him yelling help, but I was talking and I didn't remember grabbing him. Right, uh, I almost, like, want to see if there's, like, a... a cheat code I can get or something, um that would replace the frame buffer texture on the, the pause screen with just, like, white or maybe, you know, a provided texture or something. Something to make it not that awful garbage static thing. Monstrosity. It, it really bugs me when stuff doesn't emulate quite right. Like, it shouldn't... Like, it, like 90% of the game is still fine. It shouldn't bug me, but it, those little things really get to me.
And I did try for a while to get this game looking perfect, but this was the best I could get it. It's okay, I mean, it's... It's good enough. I can't get that without being a pumpkin, I think. Unless there's like some way I could like slightly, slightly tag it or something, but looks like I'll just have to remember to come back. I wonder if the reason that the, the little emulation issues bug me is just because I owned this game as a kid. I, think I still have it in a box, but my N64 is kind of toast, so... Not that it would look very good even if I could... ...play it on there. But... I remember those effects looking really cool, and... ...they really stand out to me that they're broken. The obligatory toilet character. Because reasons. We have to come back as a pumpkin and deal with his, uh, clog. Spoiler alert, it's a Jiggy. Because of course it is. I don't know what's weirder, the fact that they have you go into a toilet in this game, or the fact that they brought him back in the second game. And we're just like... Oh yeah, the witch, she, uh, she moved me. She moved me here from where I used to be. Like, alright, toilet dude, because you were totally my favorite character. Wouldn't have been the same without you. The nice thing, at least, is when you, uh, when you break the windows to go in these rooms, you at least have that as, like, a sign to know that you already did that. Because, like... I don't know, there's... There's enough little rooms that it would just be that much more annoying if you couldn't tell which ones you've done already. Help me! I'm trapped on top of a bed. Sometimes I don't think you Jinjos even try to escape. Of course, the Jinjos aren't really, like, given any sort of, like, backstory or anything in this one. They get a village in Banjo-Tooie. They're still captured just as pointlessly in random... ...random places that... ...standing in random spots they need rescuing from. In which case they fly away because... ...you know... ...they were trapped. They were trapped and needed rescue. Obviously, they couldn't fly away until you told them it was okay. You know, a lot of the dialogue is pretty funny, and I probably shouldn't skip it, but... Beds are as good of traps as... squeaky floors are of intruder detectors. I don't know. That's, that's the puzzle here. If you touch the floor... Is it just... Is the only thing up here that went up? Ooh, why did I come up here? Why did they put that flight pad there just for that one up? I just wanted you to like see the room from a worse angle. But yeah, if you um 
If you touch the floor, it creaks and the ghost wakes up. And once he's awake, you can't just like sneak through him to get the jiggy. He'll just you'll just bounce off and he'll taunt you about how he's guarding it. But, you know, apparently he's only solid when he's awake, because reasons. Makes perfect sense. These notes right here are evil. I'm pretty sure I have missed those. Just because the camera angle never really uh, shows them to you. I really want to kill all these skeletons just so that they're out of my way. I just want to kill them because, you know, that's what you do in a video game. You can't leave them alive. That would just be... Like, they're evil, clearly. Doesn't that, that, doesn't that right there look like the face of an evil skeleton? Absolutely. All right. Oh, I can't. Yeah, of course I can't get those while I'm writing this. Yep. Nope. Whoops. I like how many times that the game just obligatorily wants you to spell out Banjo Kazooie. Like legit, you cannot play this game. You cannot finish this game without at least learning how to spell the name of it. It's impossible. They make sure that you have to learn. Except for in this room it annoys me because the Z's kind of look like N's. And if you're if you're just like rushing through, you know, and you you haven't really paid that close attention, it's really easy to accidentally accidentally hit the Z and think it's an N. Jiggy down, I guess. I should probably save those feathers for when I really need them, but yeah, what would be the fun in that? Why save them for when I need them when I could just use them to pointlessly kill skeletons? I mean, it's obvious logic. I don't notice there's any real reason to use those boots for anything. I can't even, like, jump up and grab stuff, can I? What is the point of those? Legit, what is the point of those boots? You can't do anything with them. I don't remember if there's any real reason to go in the well here. I know that the... There is a Jiggy you can get, but... I think it's just easier to get as the pumpkin, right? It's easier to do this whole thing as the pumpkin. Let's just let's leave the pumpkin something to do, shall we? I mean, the pumpkin's a cool transformation. He can't attack, because nothing can attack except the crocodile. But, I mean, how would he attack? He's a pumpkin.
random tangent thought, but if you've ever played an emulated game where shadows don't work quite right, where for whatever reason the little blob shadow underneath you, the most primitive of shadows, the little dark circle, doesn't work, you will gain a new appreciation for what that shadow does in a platforming game. I think I've had Banjo-Kazooie emulate that way, and I think I've had Mario 64 emulate that way, like, like years and years ago, when kinda emulation in general was still kinda young. At least N64 emulation. And you will gain a newfound appreciation for those shadows, cause let me tell you, it is friggin' hard to jump without knowing where you're gonna land. Cause suddenly, like, there's just, it's like, you just have no depth perception. I don't have any feathers, do I? Crap. This would have been a good place to save them for. In fact, I'm gonna wait until I get some, hopefully up here. Ooh, wait, wait. Do I, I probably lose health if I do this part wrong. I gotta go back and get some health. Which is not good, because the door will close behind me. Oh, wait. There's some. Stupid bees. does need that jump, and I just, I just failed at it, that's all. Alright, um, show me what you got, ghosty hand. Play me some, uh, music. <laughs> Mozart! It's not a pun, trust me. It's Mozart. Don't you remember the great mu musician Mozart? Can I just do it right now? I can. So I don't have to memorize anything. I thought this was a memory one, it's not. Yeah, but thinking about this now, like... Yeah, but it's, it's still the same thing, right? Yeah. Thinking about this now, if you were to play this, if you were to play music note by note after somebody, it would sound fucking horrible. Like, this should be a memory game. Maybe it was just too difficult for anyone that didn't, um, didn't have a musical background, didn't know, didn't know how it worked, but this would be... This would legit sound horrible. Unless the song is supposed to have double of every note. I love that everything rhymes. Like, it's one thing that the witch rhymes, because of course she does, but whenever something else rhymes, it's just a bonus. I technically haven't hit nine of them yet. Okay, that's a torch on this side. The one on the other must be a flight pad. Yeah, I just wasn't phased in yet. So wait, wait. It was too far away to even show the, the 2D version of it? Did I go back? Yeah, I did go back for the witch switch in the last level. I'm just... Good reason for this to be the, the last level I do if I can't remember hitting a switch.
There we go. Nothing like some health. You got, uh, you got some bats in your belfry here. Don't worry. I got them taken care of for you. And I get more health. Alright, so... Oh, I'm gonna get hurt. One goes down- oh! Right, he drops health. Cool. Uh, let me see... It's like one note obnoxiously on each of the church pews. Why? Just because. Just because we thought they'd be annoying with the ghosts there. Ah, crap. You were still coming. I didn't know if he was still coming. I mean, he, I thought he probably was, because he's a ghost, but... You know, just because he can move through things doesn't mean he can see through things. Maybe he was confused. Maybe he didn't know where I was. I was wrong. Alright, should be all the notes in here. I think. If not, I'll be coming back. If I can't find all the notes later, this is where they are. Alright. Now for the fuck you flowers. That's, a thank you. That's another piece of trivia. So, uh, Grant Kirkhope, the composer of the game, he recorded the, uh, the thank you that these flowers said. And apparently he had to re-record it, like, three times. Okay, way to change the camera. Apparently he had to re-record it three times because the ESRB would not believe that it said thank you. They thought it just said fuck you every time. Why would putting flowers... Um... Thank you. Why would putting flowers at a grave cause a random voice to say fuck you? I don't know either. But apparently that's what they thought and... I mean, maybe the earlier recording sounded like it. I can't vouch for that, but... Thank you. you know, the, the logic for this growing flowers is actually sound, like, lore-wise. The game establishes that Kazooie's eggs aren't actually really eggs. They're, um, they're filled with water, apparently. Not really sure why. Maybe that just makes it better than... You know, them just being unfertilized bird eggs. Shouldn't be anything offensive about that, but for whatever reason, they're filled with water. Maybe to make some of the puzzles make sense. I think you feed eggs. You feed eggs to a few many, a few too many things, but maybe they just like to eat eggs. Maybe the whole thing is a lie, and they're not filled with water at all. They are actual eggs. We will never know. Alright, so, did I get all those flowers? I must have missed something somewhere, right? Ah, there's one right there. Yeah, I don't know about you, but when I, when I leave flowers at somebody's grave, there's, I totally hear a little voice somewhere out, out in the darkness that just 
you know, tells me to go fuck myself for leaving flowers. How, how considerate of me. They don't, they, honestly, they just, see, they don't, they didn't have a lot of self-esteem in life, and they're, they're just offended by the fact that you think that they're good enough for flowers. That, that is, that is what it amounts to. You know, with some of the, uh, well, with the, the some of the Metroid, oh, nice, um, at least I caught myself. Some of the Metro, Metroid randomizer stuff I've done lately with AM2R, I really kind of wish there was a way to randomize this game. The only way I could think to do it would be to randomize, like, the moves that you get. But, like, not enough is really gated behind those, like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't prevent you from progressing in any meaningful way. It might prevent you from getting, like, a jiggy or two, but it would just end up being, like, a minor annoyance that you have to come back for, rather than, like, actually preventing your progress until you explore other areas more. And there's nothing else to randomize, like, unless... Come on. Since I was doing the Talon Trot, I couldn't go invincible. And I, because I kept getting hit and knocked back, I couldn't end it. Like, there's nothing you could really randomize. Like, what are you gonna do? Change the Jiggies? Like... What are you going to change about them? Are you going to swap them out with notes and they'll just be notes where the jiggies are? Like, that's not... That wouldn't really be fun. There's nothing meaningful you can do with this kind of, like, collectathon game. I mean, the move... The changing the moves, like, that's the closest thing I can think of because moves are kind of like upgrades you get in, like, a Zelda or a Metroid type of game. And, like... Like, it could work, but I feel like once you have to apply logic to it and make it so, like, you know, the Talon Trot has to come from Mumbo's Mountain or you can't progress, and various other things like that, there just wouldn't be any room left to actually randomize things in any meaningful way. But if there was a way, I would totally, totally want to play that. Just like the gameplay of this game, but but the trolling of a randomizer. Oh, that's a bad thought. That is a bad thought. The only thing I could think to compare it to would be, uh, what if they made a Chaos Edition of Banjo-Kazooie? Let's not talk about that. Especially not with note scores. That would be evil with note scores. Like, oh, oh, you got 99 notes? Oh, guess what? You just died. <laughs> 99 notes? Who am I kidding? You'd be like, you got three notes? Oh, guess what? You're gonna die randomly. Just because. That's, that's how a Banjo-Kazooie Chaos Edition would go. That, I don't, I don't think I would want to play that. But there's some small part of me that still would. Alright, I think I've done everything that doesn't involve pumpkin. Mumbo proud of pumpkin, okay. Some of his dialogue is funny, like I wish I wasn't skipping through it all, but... I am trying to make somewhat good time. Alright, so I have two options. Either go up the haunted house or to the well. And I guess I'm going to go up the haunted house. Okay, come on. We can do this, pumpkin. You're not... You're not that hard to control. 
As long as I'm a little more patient. Alright, one of these rooms is the toilet room. I don't know what room. It's not this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Go back! There's a honeycomb. And, uh, I guess some gold feathers while we're at it in case we run into more ghosts. I don't know if I need health. I'm gonna grab that anyway. Because I really don't want to die as Pumpkin, since I can't kill anything as Pumpkin. Alright, this has got to be toilet room, right? Yeah, toilet room. <sighs> Happy landings, little one! God. This is something that they actually did. Oops. A little too close. I'm not sure as those feathers were worth it, but you know. Furthermore, this doesn't actually go anywhere. Maybe those... Maybe their pipes. They're... The little bitey guys. Maybe that's where all the waste goes. I hope so. <laughs> I can't believe you went in there. Now wash your hand. Wash your real. Wash your hands, filthy bear. Well, jokes on you. I don't have hands right now. I'm a pumpkin. I'm not sure what's up with this, like, rain gutter. Does anyone have a rain gutter that goes into a barrel? I mean, like, maybe, you know, if it wasn't capped off like this, I could see that. But... Plus, it's got a hole in the bottom. Good job, like, whoever did that. Bet it catches lots of rain. Okay, only thing in here is the honeycomb. Quality N64 grass there. I mean, it's always just a polygon. Same thing with, like, the flowers in Mario. Just, you know, just a polygon. That's the best we could do. Polygon and single flowers. But, who am I kidding? I like N64 graphics. Alright. Um... And all this is immensely easier when you don't have to swim through it. I mean, swimming through it works. It's not, it's not awful. But why would you choose swimming when there's the option of not swimming? 100 notes. How many jiggies is this? 10, we're done. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I get both honeycombs? It's always the honeycombs. I did get them both. Cool. We are done. Sort of. We are sort of done. We're done with the level itself, but I need to exit the level as Pumpkin in order to unlock the next level. And you know, as far as the toilet humor goes, like, you don't know the half of it. Like, there are so many little things that they snuck in here. Especially, like, there's a lot of British things. Like, since the, since the developers at Rare, since they're British, there's a lot of, um... A lot of, like, slang for things that, like, they got away with that, you know... Wasn't as apparent to American censors. It's not, it's nothing, like, horrendous. Like, it's, the game is pretty clean overall. But there are a few things that, um, are just a little bit... A little bit more than they probably should have been able to get away with at the time. Mumbo, why are you in this random hot? That's the only thing that doesn't make sense. Like, they they came up with this little pumpkin door to get through. Which is cool. You need to leave the level with the transformation to do that. But then they're like, oh yeah, you can't do anything as pumpkin. We'll just, we'll just stick Mumbo in there. Um, like, okay. I, I don't really understand that decision. Are these not... 
Okay, you don't break them that way, I guess. I, maybe you don't break them at all. You just break into this one. Because obviously, in this coffin, whoever was buried here is long since gone, but they left behind a water level switch for us. That way we can get into the worst level in the game. They... That is what they wanted. Their final wishes were to be buried with the switch. Maybe, maybe it was because... Maybe they just didn't want us to press it. They didn't want us to have to deal with the worst level in the game. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that that's it. They didn't want us to have to deal with the worst level in the game. So they asked that the switch be buried with them. Not that they wanted us to have to do it, and that's why. It's, it's They were trying to save us from it, whoever they are. And we defiled their grave, and we're going to it anyway. Pumpkin making mumbo hungry. Me get pot ready. That's okay. I wasn't going to come back to you to untransform. I was just going to walk too far. Which, actually, there's one other thing to do. There is a Cheeto book that can only be gotten as pumpkin, just like the other one. It can only happen as crocodile. Like, I'm really glad that in the second game, in Banjo Tui, they added the ability to attack as a lot of the transformations. Maybe as all the transformations, I can't remember. Um. Is that cause I, mostly because I can't remember it, most of them. I remember the T Rex because T Rex. I remember the Washer because it's a reference to the fact that sometimes in this game, Mumbo will uh, transform you into a washer and say he needs to do his laundry. Um. And that, that's also uh, a secret. Uh, unlocking that model, but with like Banjo-Kazooie's animations and uh, gameplay, damn it. It's something you can un unlock using the bottle's secret puzzle mode that I will not be doing because without frame buffer it just looks really dumb. And all the codes are temporary anyway, so... Unless you want hot dog Banjo mode where his body is like really stretched out, there's not a whole lot of point to uh, doing that stuff. Though it is kind of fun to play as the washer, you know, maybe... Maybe sometime, just to troll, I should just do a washer run. We'll play through the entire game as washer. That, sh that could be done, I guess? What I'd have to do first is, uh... Hi, Cheeto. I'd have to get enough notes on Lumbo's Mountain and least a jiggy or two to unlock I think it's I think it's two jiggies to unlock treasure trove cove and that would be it that's all that would need to be unlocked to get the washer transformation and then you could go back and do the rest of mumbo's mountain so just get like an easy jiggy you know throw away one and you could you could play the whole game as the washer it's uh it's obnoxious to play the whole game to play any of the games the washer because the animations are just so screwed up mostly mostly things involving kazooie are screwed up because the washer still plays like banjo kazooie but it only really represents banjo there's no kazooie there's no backpack so like you know if you do the talon trot you turn around backwards and just kind of walk on your back there's no pumpkin soup anyone there's no, um, there's no logic behind it. They didn't program it to work. It's just an Easter egg. Um. And because you can't... Funny, Mumbo, your magic lasted the same distance away on the other side, and then further. Okay, okay, both of you, like, you know... Actually, I can't say both of you take turns talking to me, because you did take turns talking to me. Good for you. Good on you for respecting each other, despite the fact that you're like mortal enemies now. But apparently you used to know each other in a weird lore bit that's never really explained other than in the game over screen. I mean, it is, it is mentioned that they know each other. Never, never explained. Where, where was the lore for that? When are we going to get the uh, Mumbo Gruntilda backstory? Learn what really happened there. There, there seem, I mean, there seems to be like some indication of some sort of a 
maybe romantic tension going on? Like, I guess we don't want to see that part, but like, you know. There's something at least going on, and it'd be nice to know about. Whenever we get Banjo 3. I hope they actually call it that if they ever make it. Because the, the credits for 2E, or not the credits, but like the ending cutscene, they do call it that. Okay. I didn't think that was high enough to take falling damage, but apparently. They, they do call it Banjo 3E. And then we never got it. And so we got Nuts and Bolts. Which I proudly still never played. Mostly because I don't have an Xbox. If I had an Xbox... Like... I probably would play it. Like... I'm not, I'm not gonna say I would enjoy it, but I'd probably have to play it just because. I'd hate myself for every minute of it, but you know. I might have wasted too much time grabbing those shoes, we'll see. If you time it just right, you can jump off just as it's exploding. Oh. Um, you can jump off just as it's exploding, and it looks kind of like it exploded because you took off. There's still one jiggy up top I need to get. But yeah, now, now that we're in this era of, like, you know, Kickstarter-induced sequels and stuff, like, as much as I hope Ukulele 2 is good, I hope they do another one, and I hope it's good. I hope it lives up to Banjo-Kazooie. I also kind of hope that Rare finally does something with Banjo-Kazooie as well. I want both. I think they could coexist. I think we could have both in a meaningful way. I need to check really quick if there's anything in here. I know there, there really couldn't be like a one-up or a yeah gold feather. Couldn't be like a honeycomb or something because there aren't any in the witch's lair. As far as I know, yeah, there just wouldn't be. Oh, come on. You know, I gotta remember. I don't actually think pounding the ground saves you from any damage in this game. That's like a Mario 64 tactic. I feel like some other game does it too, but I don't think Banjo-Kazooie does. Uh, right, right. I can't actually get up to that platform till it's at level 3. No, I didn't want C up. I definitely don't want C up. Not right now. Alright, so I'm not gonna do Rusty Bucket Bay this time, just because it's such a pain in the ass. I already have 100 eggs. Um... Okay, I guess I need to raise the water again before I can go up. Any of those? I mean, no, I can, I can go from the stairs here. Um, but I am gonna get the level unlocked. And maybe go back and do the Bubble Gloop Swamp stuff. So that we're in a nice, well-rounded place for next time. <clears throat> Just so that next time... We're <clears throat> Ow. Let me try to get that again. Next so that Just so that next time we are ready for the pain. Because that's what it will be. Friggin' engine room. You know, otherwise it's really not that bad of a level. Rare crate. Um... I think level 2 is still what I want. Then again, I think this is on a timer. No? No, it's not. I hope that wasn't the one I said I would screw myself out of the gate for. 
Could it be? It could have been. It could have been. Not that I need to be able to go through that gate, but... It's just an OCD thing. Oh, it is! I did it! I did ruin it! See? Now, there's no way to remove that gate. At all. Good job, me. I don't need to remove that gate. There's literally nothing in there except... Why did you do that? Go back up. Just stop doing that. <clears throat> There's literally nothing in there but the mo the mo Mad Monster Mansion puzzle. But it still bugs me. There's no gate that I cannot remove. I need to stop grabbing things I don't need. Ooh, there's also the, the boggy race. I still need to do the boggy race. So, definitely still got more to do today. And then the two obnoxious levels can wait till another day because... Just no. It's, it's, it'd be much faster just to go through this cauldron, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Boom. Man, that cauldron gets excited. I guess I would too if I stood around all day with nothing to do. And then a random barren bird jumps in me. Alright, Boggy. Let's have that rematch. Or race, or... I guess he doesn't actually know that it's Banjo-Kazooie... Challenging him when he when you're a walrus He never makes that connection like Is that is that cheating? Like he doesn't He doesn't know that you've already kicked his ass once He doesn't know that you know the entire racetrack already He doesn't know that you've already beaten him. He just thinks he's losing to everyone. I can't remember if he lets you race him without the shoes or not. If he just says, like, you know, you're not fast enough to keep up with me or something, but... Yeah, no. Come back. There. We're still good. If you fall too far behind, he will actually call off the race, if I remember right. He'll, be, he'll just be like, oh, this is no fun, like, come back when you're faster. Maybe that's what happens when you don't have the shoes. power of a, a pair of tennis shoes with a lightning bolt totally make you super fast. <laughs> Take my other medal. I'm off to look for my kid's presents. You're a horrible father, Bucky. You are a fucking horrible father. You're, you're probably a horrible person in general. I think, I think in the sequel you meet his wife. I don't remember a thing about her, though. But seriously, like... I hope she divorced your ass. Like, is that why the kids are home alone? You were just- you're- you were horrible! I had to get your kids Christmas presents and keep you preoccupied racing you because you were too- too lazy to go back home. Oh, good job. Right in the- right in the water. But the worst part is, despite how bad of a person he is, he's a good character. Like, he's the, he's the, he's well-defined, he's a big portion of the level, he's the very, 
very thing that makes the Banjo-Kazooie characters good and the ukulele characters bad. He exists, he's a good portion of the level, he has a purpose. He might be a horrible person in the process, but, you know, he... He's got character. It's bad character, but it's character. He's not a fucking shopping trolley with... that wants you to push some switches and doesn't ever move from a, its spot, and god... Like, can... Platonic games, if you just want to go back and, like, update ukulele and you just want to fix it, and you want to make it different, you want to fix it in a good, meaningful way, and, like, I, I would be willing to just pretend that the badness that it had before, the, the current, the current shortcomings, okay, wow, let's, uh, let's get, let's get chewed up by the piranhas, why don't we? That was a joke, don't fall in again. But like, I, I'm willing to completely pretend that that game never happened. I mean, it's 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 still it's still okay, don't get me wrong. But I'm willing to pretend... Oh crap, I need to go... I need to go... Um, open the path, that way when I come back with the crocodile, I can get through. I'm willing to pretend... That the original version of ukulele didn't happen if you guys just want to like that was a lot deeper than i remembered it being um if you if you guys just want to patch it and you want to make it better and you want to make it less bad i i would be okay with that like i like it enough i'd, I'd play it through again i would play it through again if you updated it in some way that made it better and not just a really crappy, uh, really crappy N64 style, um, shader that just adds, like, scan lines and curvature and other stuff that I could add to my emulator, but I don't because it's better looking in HD than it would be made to look retro. I mean, like, my, my Pixel games, I'll make them look retro. My 3D games, I have the option to, to upscale them and make them look, to render them at a higher resolution, and oh god, I need boots. I don't, I don't really want them to have a, have a low-res version. But either way, I, I'm looking forward to it if they, if they do a ukulele 2 at some point. I'm confident that... You didn't make that long enough, Rare. I'm confident that they could... They could do better. That they could... They could fix the problems if they had enough time. And maybe I'm just gullible. Maybe I'm just believing the narrative that they put forth. That it was a time constraint and nothing more. That the reason why ukulele is a little bit... <laughs> A little bit shit. Not a lot, just, just, you know, a little rough around the edges. That The reason for that is that they ran out of time. I'll believe them, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Doesn't really make it better, but... Prove that it, prove to me that it was when you, uh, when you make another game. Just, you've already got the engine, you've already got the frameworks in place, you've already got the controls, they're awesome game control is awesome. Just make better levels. Make better levels next time. Make levels that feel rewarding and, you know, feel like there's a reason to complete them. Make levels that are smaller. Honestly, make levels that are smaller, that are denser, and where the things in them feel like they matter. And you're not just, like, traveling across vast, empty distances to find things. Do that, and you'll have a good game. Like, the pieces are there. Oh, yep, already down. That was fast. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna just fail at, fail miserably at even going invincible. That's cool.
can't make that one. Like, I came over here just for health. Why? I'm not quite sure. It's just a one. It's just one frog. For some reason, I thought there'd be more health opportunities over there. I don't know. Maybe a beehive. I'll get this one. I really hate this jiggy. It's easier with an actual N64 controller when the, uh, the analog range isn't quite so sensitive. But still. Anyway, though, back to ukulele, like, I know I rant about it a lot, but smaller levels. Guys, that's all you need is smaller levels. You made them too big. You didn't necessarily add stuff to them, like... There's no reason for the levels in ukulele to be big other than to, like, try to, uh... There we go. Other than to try to be, quote, modern. Like, that is... I really shouldn't have jumped that. Um... Seriously, being modern is the only reason why they, they made the levels the way they did. Same thing why, where, um... Same reason why the levels use Unreal Engine. Or, like, the, the game uses Unreal Engine, and so... Um, there are some, there's some weirdness to the levels in ukulele, like, the fact that, you know, all the collision is kind of physics-based, so you can, instead of using, like, invisible walls for collision, and you can just scale random parts, and, like, they pitched it as a good thing, like, oh, it's gonna be more, more open world in that sense, like, you can just get to point A to point B however you want. That's great, but then why give movement-based moves in the like in the first place? Why give any sort of um, like why? Especially with like the flying move, like if the flying move is just gonna break everything in the entire game because you can fly wherever you want instead of doing flight pads. Why put obstacles in the game at all? If you can just come back later and fly over them. I mean, that, I wouldn't do it, it removes the challenge, but you don't have to fly over them. You can just jump from somewhere high or climb the side of a rock ledge because it has little ledge collisions. It's just... Mm. In my opinion, it doesn't feel good to complete a platforming challenge when you could have, like, cheaped out somehow and done it a different way, like... The thrill of completing a platforming challenge goes away when you didn't really need the platforms, you could just, like, jump from higher up somewhere, or, like, you know, or fly for that matter, but, like, there's another way around it, then... Then the platforming stops feeling good. I don't know why each of these little hills is casting a shadow. It's, like, super dramatic. I don't think the original game was like that. I think it's just, uh... I totally forgot to get the shoes first. Do I have to do the first game again? Is that what this is? This is the first game. This is the one pair of running shoes in the game that lasts forever. As I said earlier, they last arbitrary amounts of time. These ones last forever. You put them on once, and that is all. And then this game is easy. How does it feel when the odds are changed? When the odds are, uh, 
Reversed, Mr. Crocodile. Doesn't feel very good, does it? I say as I just miserably miss eating the same one over and over again. Okay, that is like way more than he ate the first time I did this. I wonder if he goes faster... If he goes faster too, like... Oh, my shoes ran out. I mean, they... They run out between puzzles, or between games, or runs, or whatever. They, they run out in between, but they don't run out for time reasons. They last forever, sort of. I swear to God, if I still fail, even with the running shoes, I, I just shouldn't talk about that, because I will jinx it. Alright, two down. Do they have a timer? Do they have a timer that just happens to coincide with the game length, or does it just, you know, run out automatically when the game ends? No, 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 no! Really? <sighs> and I still couldn't beat him. Just because of RNG. And missing one... Missing one stupid, uh... Bite. I pressed it and it just didn't... Hey, challenge me in my cool shoes. I like how I grabbed two shoes. But I got four shoes. Four shoes for the price of two. Video game logic, right? Oh shit. Mm. Oh, come on! I was- I was eating that one before it changed. Okay, so I lied. This pair of shoes is timed. Nope. There we go! Done! Goodbye. Good riddance. Also, I'm keeping the shoes. Because reasons. I mean, you know, I have shorts, essentially. Even though they don't actually go over my legs. They just, like, my legs come out of the sides of them. Not like leg holes, but like, through the belt. I have shorts, they just... It goes over my tail, okay? It's, it's like a tail... A tail warmer? It's a tail warmer. I need shoes to go with it. They match. They don't match at all. But 
you know. It's the idea of what if they did match? I don't know. Why are you denying a crocodile f a fashion statement? Alright, so now I'll, I'll have two out of the three Cheeto cheats. Yeah. Oh yeah. Haha, -ha, take that. Is this the last thing I need to do right now? I think it might be. That's funny because that essentially means that I will end at the same place I did last night. You know, she threatens to like hurt Cheeto and like tear out his page. Yeah, it was the egg one. Tear out his pages or burn him or something. But then in the second, in, in Banjo Tooie, she actually does. Um, you can access... Yeah, you already told me that. Cool, yeah. Can I go? Can I go, please? In Banjo-Tooie, when you, uh, come back into the destroyed witch's lair... Like, you can't progress at all. There's boulder... big boulders blocking it all because... You know, it's just there for continuity reasons. They don't actually want you to go play the old levels. They're not there. Um... Cheeto is there, and he's in the, the lobby area where the portrait of Gruntilda is. And all his pages have been ripped out. And that's what you... They're a collectible in Banjo-Tooie. She actually ripped out his pages. Uh, horrible... Um, blinding, static, awful backgroundness. Let's see. Mumbo's Mountain, good. Treasure Trove Cove, good. Clanker's Cavern, good. Bubble, bubble, bubble Gloop Swamp is missing a frigging honeycomb? I should check the rest. I, I backed out in a hurry, but... Gobi's Valley, Mad Monster Mansion, everything's good. Except for the enormous amount of time I spent in Bubble Gloop Swamp, apparently. Every, every other level was right around, like, 29, 28 or 29 minutes, half hour. Bubble Goop Swamp is like 40 minutes. Why? It's... Why have you done this to me, Swamp? More importantly, why are you making me come back and look for the one honeycomb that I have apparently missed? There's nothing that way, um... And that was where Bottles was. Bottles taught me how to use boots, because for some reason I didn't know how to use them. I mean, I guess to be fair, you know, the Banjo and Kazooie, they, they are animals. I mean, it probably took Banjo a while to learn how to wear shorts and a backpack. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's what's going on, you know? They, they learned how to wear shorts and a backpack. It's just Banjo, actually, because we didn't learn how to wear anything. Banjo learned how to wear shorts and a backpack. Never learned how to wear boots. Kazooie's never learned how to wear anything. That's... that's... that's the whole backstory of why you need to learn boots. Tennis shoes, on the other hand, I don't know. I mean, uh, at that point... At that point, I wonder, you know, maybe it's just you. Kazooie, maybe it's, maybe it's just you that can't seem to learn stuff. Lacks common sense. I don't know. Alright, why am I thinking in the turtle? I can't get in the turtle unless I change back. I should check over here just in case. Okay, one of them was totally gonna be, like, up top over here. 
in one of those huts. I'm, I'm fairly certain there had to have been one. So, I'm gonna guess that the one I missed might be in the turtle. I'm basing that on absolutely nothing. But hey, at least I don't have to end in the same room with the, uh... Same snowy, freezy easy peak puzzle room. Did they ever like go up on your back? I mean, it's clearly just boots, but you know. Nope! No! Okay. We'll walk around, it's okay. That's what I get for not really, uh, Paying close attention there. Oh, come on. Fly at me. Fly at me so I can kill you. No? Fine. I don't even remember where the... Yeah, take that. I don't remember where the first honeycomb I got was. That's not... That's probably not good. I'm gonna chomp your feet, Mumbo. You tried. You you said you were gonna make boots out of me. That ain't happening. Is that a is that a Mumbo token behind you? Really? Why? There are so many of them. Like I kind of wish they were tracked. That way I could just uh, know how I'm doing at collecting them all. Okay, I can't actually go back out this way. That's rather inconvenient. I mean, I guess they figured the crocodile was the last thing you'd do, but still. Alright, yeah, shouldn't be anything that way. I've spent way too much time in this level as a whole. I was really looking forward to having like a shorter completion time. Certainly not a speed run, but like at least something to form like a baseline of how quickly I could complete this game. It sounds like I'm hurting him, but really, uh, you know, he was claiming his feet were numb, and he just, you know, he needs to get the feeling back in them. I... And then he coughs out a jiggy, but it's not there anymore, because I already got it. Alright. There it is. Tip Top's gone, though. No more Tip Top, no more school. School, school is out of session. Somehow, I feel like I missed this one a lot. Is it just like a perfectly hexagonal light? Look into the light! Why does it look like a pentagon? Like, like wait a minute here. Yeah. It's a hexagon, but the light coming out of it is totally a pentagon. Why is that? Like, hexagons are like this game's thing. They're everywhere. They're honeycombs. They're... It's just the shape of the game. Why is this light a pentagon? Like, do, do you realize how big of a fuck-up that is, Rare? Why would you do that? Just, why? Alright, so... That was the only other thing I needed here. Oh, it's already on Bubble Goop Swamp. 47 minutes. That's just, that's just awful. 47 friggin' minutes in this level. That is way too long, and I am never, ever, ever coming back here again. Ever. But, um, that's really all I can do until I go to, uh, Rusty Bucket Bay and click Clockwood after that. Then, of course, there's the fun quiz game and, uh, everything leading up to the boss. 
the final final boss. So uh, yeah, I guess I'm uh, I guess I'm done for tonight. Not quite as late as I wanted to go, but I really do not want to start Rusty Bucket Bay right now. That level can just that level can go away right now. But all right then, that's it for this stream. Behold Banjo choking Kazooie. I'm sure there's a chicken choking joke somewhere in there. But I'll leave that to you. See you later.